Hey, I'm Denny Chapman, and welcome to The Gun Show. We've got a great episode lined up for you today with our special guest firearms instructor, Sherry Myers, and our featured product of the day, the Kalashnikov USA KR9. That's right, guys, we've rebranded what was formerly known as Denny's Daily Deals. It's now The Gun Show. We're still going to bring you some great products and reviews, but our new format gives us, well, the opportunity to bring more cool stuff, like additional video content, interviews, and some 2A talk of the day. Now, we're cross-posting the show on the Gun Show YouTube channel, The Gun Show. Check it out and subscribe. We're also on John Martin Talks and all the other BDU social media channels and the new excluded.com, spelled X-C-L-U-D-E-D.com. Make sure you check it out and subscribe to that as well. But regardless of where you're watching from, now is the time to engage with us simply by hitting those buttons guys like subscribe comment and share and you can help create a positive two-way algorithm on social media we got a great program lined up and we'll be right back with our guest sherry myers right after this this is the all-new wide open trigger the wot is a hard reset trigger for the ar-15 platform and the first true drop-in plug and play trigger in its class Tested and warranted to last over 10,000 rounds. Featuring a patent pending failure proof spring assembly and reinforced with hard ox, the most abrasion resistant steel in the world. Get your wide open trigger now. And we're back and we got Sherry Myers shooting with Sherry. Now a little background for, I'm gonna give our viewers a little background. I met Sherry at the Volusia Gun and Hunt Club. I think it's now called the Volusia Gun Club. Mm -hmm. And I think we were shooting Steel Challenge together. That's right. Uh, there. Uh, you are an NRA certified yes. firearms instructor. Yes, NRA and USCCA. And USCCA as mm -hmm. well. I have to ask you, let's just go way back in the history of Sherry Myers. How did you get interested in guns? What's the story? Wow, so uh, my interest in firearms began a long time ago. Uh, actually, when I was four years old is the first time that I fired my first shot. That's pretty young. Uh, yes. <laughs> cool. I came from very much of a, of a firearms family. Um, so we, we went out regularly and we shot and target practice and kind of prepped for hunting. Um, it, it just it began so early that I don't even really remember guns not being a part of my life. Wow. So you literally grew up with it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, uh, you know, the interesting thing about you is you're a firearms instructor and you're female. <laughs> uh, we see a lot more guy instructors than mm -hmm. we do ladies. Yes. What's your perspective on the firearms industry from a woman's point of view as far as people getting involved, seeing more interest from the ladies? What have mm -hmm. you seen? Um, so yes, ju just women in general getting into firearms, um, that is an increasing demographic that we're seeing. Um, as far as women teaching, uh, firearms, that is also increasing, and, and thank goodness, because as we have more women wanting to train, a lot of times women are wanting to connect with female firearms instructors because we teach different, our approach is, is typically a bit uh, softer, mm. so um, it, it opens the door for a lot more interest, and it encourages um, confidence in, in the firearm itself. Right, so I mean, this could be quite intimidating mm -hmm. to people, obviously, right. we, we know that. What would you say to our viewers out there who are watching and they're curious about guns but not mm -hmm. knowing what the next step would be? Okay, um, so I would just say, you know, uh, do some research, um, find a reputable uh, firearms instructor, and, um, and then just jump in, you know? Uh, ask them questions even before you arrive. Uh, see what the day is gonna bring and, and just go for it. So when someone calls you and says, hey, I found you online, um, I wanna take a class I've never shot before, what can I expect, what's your answer? Um, well, I always tell people, hey, look, I'm 
I love a brand new shooter. I'm gonna teach you the safety, I'm gonna teach you the, uh, the application of the gun safety, and I'm gonna walk you through every single thing. It's not a test. I don't expect you to know anything. We can't be expected to know something that we've never been taught before. And I'm more of a mentor, I'm not, I'm not a drill sergeant. Um, I'm gonna walk them through this gently, and then at the end of it, my goal is to have them excited about it and to feel like, hey, yeah, I can do this, and this is fun. Yeah, and it is yeah. so fun. Yeah. And the one thing that I hear people saying is, I had no clue yeah. <laughs> that I was gonna have so much fun and feel so yeah. empowered. Yeah. Do you see that as well? Oh my goodness, all the time. In fact, uh, just a few days ago, I had a group of ladies come out and one of the ladies, she was like, I just want to wait to be last. I want to wait to be last. And I said, girl, I know that by the end of this, <laughs> you're going to be the one who's going to enjoy this the most. And sure enough, by the end of it, she's like, can I shoot this gun? And can I shoot that gun? I was like, I told you. <laughs> that had to be like super, super rewarding oh, from the instructor's is. point of so view. So you rewarding. obviously did a did a good job. Yeah. So we got goal. some clips lined up <laughs> okay. of you doing uh, some cool stuff with your students and awesome. maybe even competing. Yeah. We're going to roll a clip or two and see what we have. Great. Uh, our viewers, when you see us looking to the side, we've got a little monitor so we can see what you guys are seeing mm -hmm. so we'll roll the clip and maybe you can do a little narration for okay. us on that Over but, here. Uh, here we go. what are we, what are we seeing here? okay so this was from a group of ladies that had come out uh, most of them had never fired a shot before uh, and so I'm just giving them the fundamentals and I'm walking them through everything so if they forget anything if they're having any difficulty with hitting their mark um, if they're afraid I'm just gonna give them encouragement and they all had a blast Cool. Yeah. It, it's so rewarding, I know. And uh, I've done a little instruction myself. Yeah. I'm a certified instructor, but I spend Yay! most of my time uh, <laughs> so in front of the camera yeah. or shooting guns at the range or doing cool yeah. stuff with Big Daddy Unlimited. But I do I do understand and get that. And you're also a competitor yeah, because a we met at Steel Challenge, which is a cool sport. I think we'll do a whole show on that sometime. Yes, definitely. Well, we met at a Steel Challenge match, and I, we may have a video clip. Let's see what we got maybe lined up for shooting with Sherry, shooting the competition. What are you ready? Looking at here? So this Stand by. Uh, I think this was a couple of years ago. I was doing a USPSA uh, match. I haven't done a ton of them, uh, but always a blast. Oh, pun yeah. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but lots of fun, um, challenging because you're applying your skills. Yeah. You know, uh, it's time and they're looking at accuracy as well. So. I love USPSA as well because I get that little adrenaline mm -hmm. rush, that little running gun. Uh, as, as I, you know, you, you know, I know you like Steel Challenge. Yeah. I love shooting Steel Challenge as well. Great sports. We'll tell you guys more about those uh, sports, but I want to tell people where they can find you online. Um, just go to www.shootingwithsherry.com. Um, and yeah, you can connect with me on Facebook and then also Instagram, just shooting with Sherry. Awesome. And where are you primarily based out of? Volusia County Gun and Hunt Club in New Smyrna Beach, right. Florida. And, and that's a great club. If yes. you guys are in Central Florida, <laughs> right? Yes. If you're looking for a place to shoot, you're in Central Florida. Just a fantastic club. You can find them online, Absolutely. Volusia uh, County uh, Gun and Hunt Club. I think they're called... Volusia County Gun Club now, they might have yeah. dropped the hunting portion <laughs> off. So as an instructor, as a fellow yes. instructor, you know yes. that gun safety is very important. So Absolutely. we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna talk about gun safety. We're gonna roll the four cardinal rules of gun safety. Here we go. All right, rule number one, treat all guns as if they're loaded at all times. Very important, common sense. Rule number two, never point your gun at anything you're not willing to shoot or destroy. That's common sense as well. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Common sense, guys, your trigger finger is your best safety. And number four is always know your target, what's around, in front of, beside, and behind uh, that target. Very, very imp important, guys. All right, when we come back, we're gonna talk about our featured product of the day, the Kalashnikov USA KR9. We'll be back with more right after this.
All right, guys, that was our buddy at Military Arms Channel showing the Kalashnikov KR-9 in action. What a really neat carbine. Now, this is a pistol caliber carbine, guys. Now, when you Google the MSRP on the KR-9, you're going to find it's well over $1,200. But I can tell you, you're going to be nicely surprised to find that your BDU member price is going to be well under that. Let's talk about it. The KR9 is a 9mm AK style carbine made by Kalashnikov USA. It's an American company based in Pompano Beach, Florida, right down here in our territory, known for building firearms on true Russian designs. Now, this carbine is based on the Russian Vityaz submachine gun, which is very popular with Russian law enforcement and special military units. However, this is a civilian semi-automatic version. Has a 16 inch uh, barrel, just a little over 16 inches. Comes with a 30 round nine millimeter magazine, as you can see. So it's uh, 30 rounds of fun right out of the box. The magazine, by the way, is a double stack design that was inspired by the original, original uh, Russian PPS-43 subgun. The KR-9 comes with a skeletonized Vityaz-style folding stock. So, you can make a very short package out of this carbine uh, very quickly. It also has a hinged top cover, kind of AK-style. So, uh, when you're breaking this gun down for maintenance, you do so in the same fashion as you do your AKs. And, well, heck, let's just do a little quick little field strip here. By the way, as you can see in this uh, top cover, we have an integral Picatinny rail that is set up perfect for your favorite red dot. Now, I would certainly be using a red dot as my primary sight for this setup. It does come with iron sights, but as you can see here, this is a very short sight radius. A red dot's really going to help you out. Now, we'll do a really quick field strip. This field strips just like AKs do. Uh, this rod uh, comes out after you have uh, flipped up the cover and then you can actually remove the bolt assembly. And essentially, we are now field stripped and it's quite that easy. As I'm putting it back together, I'm just gonna talk about some of these other features that you're gonna find on the KR9. We've got a threaded muzzle on the front end and it's a half by 28 thread. So that means it's ready and set up uh, for your favorite muzzle device, what could that be? A muzzle device could be a flash suppressor. It could be a compensator. It could be a muzzle brake. Um, it could be a sound suppressor. Uh, I love to shoot suppress. Those of you who follow me know that. And it's ready to go with your choice, whatever that muzzle device is. Now, the KR9 operates from a closed bolt blowback system. It has an out-of-battery safety system, so it won't fire unless the bolt is completely closed. So if this bolt is out of battery just even a little bit, it will not fire. And that's a really nice safety feature that I really appreciate about the KR9. It also has feed ramps that are specially designed to reliably chamber the hollow point 9mm ammo, which is something you don't always find on the pistol caliber carbines. That's pretty cool stuff there. Now, guns built on the AK platforms are very simple to break down and maintain, as you've seen. I did a quick field strip for you, put it back together uh, pretty quickly <laughs> without any hiccups right here on live TV. Now, remember, guys, you can call our customer service department if you have any questions or need more information on the KR9 or any of the other 300,000 items that we offer to our members. And if you're not a member, just hit that Join Now button. We've put one in the description somewhere. And you can grab a 30-day trial membership to BDU for 99 cents with full member benefits, access to this awesome website that you're looking at right now, guns, ammo, optics, holsters, accessories, survival gear, you name it, you're going to be able to find it on the Big Daddy Unlimited uh, page, bigdaddylimited.com. It's going to be at wholesale prices to you as a member. And as I mentioned, you'll also have access to our awesome customer service reps, live people right here in our Gainesville, Florida headquarters, ready to take your call, answer your questions with their expert knowledge, and give you that VIP customer service that you deserve as well. Now, as a member, you'll also have additional benefits like two-way insurance, your own digital gun vault, and exclusive BDU member content. All right, guys, I'm just about out of time. I hear the music. That's my official cue to end. My time is up. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again soon on The Gun Show.